In this class, we are going to learn how to embed a BIP report in Fusion application using the Page Composer. Here is the sample BIP report which I have created, which is accepting one parameter and getting the details of the supplier. For demonstration purpose, I have created a simple data model that is, I am getting the details from the parties table in Fusion SCM that is by passing the supplier name. Here I am passing ABC Bank and I am getting the party number, party name, party type, so and so forth thing. In your case, you could have a different BIP report where you might be fetching the details as per the project requirement. Now, in order to embed this page or the BIP report in any other Fusion application, we have to get the link for this BIP report. How we can get the link that we are going to see in this class and also I will show you how to make use of Page Composer and embed this BIP report within the suppliers within the procurement. First and the foremost thing is we need to get the link for this BIP report. In order to get the link, you can click on this actions over here, click on the share report link and you can select the document only. We can select all control A copy and we can paste it in on some notepad so that we can refer it while embedding using the page composer. Now this is the first thing you have to do. Get the document only link for the BIP report. Next thing is we have to create a sandbox and we have to get into the sandbox. For demonstration purpose, I have created this sandbox that is test 1001. It is having structure and the page composer. Page integration I will take in our next class. That is how we can make use of the page integration and we can integrate our BIP report that is on click of the icon, on click of the hyperlink. So in this class, we will just concentrate on embedding the BIP report within the suppliers within procurement. So in order to go to the suppliers, we have to go to procurement, click on the suppliers. In your case, you could be embedding the BIP report in some other functional area or the module. Now I will navigate to manage suppliers over here and I will search for some suppliers. Give some random name and I will get into this ABC bank. Now in order to embed our BIP report, what we can do is we have to first of all identify the location. We can embed in any of the places, the tabs what you see over here. I will select within this general area that is under the collapsible. If you see this is general is one of the collapsible and additional information is one more collapsible. I want to display before all the information that is the CDN information what we see in the fusion before that I want to show the BIP report. In order to embed we have to go to page composer from the tools. Then we can just go to the structures over here and scroll down. In detail we had covered how to make use of page composer in order to embed the web application. But BIP report we had not covered that we are covering in this class. Then we have to select this general click on edit so it will be highlighted over here. Next, we have to click on the plus, expand the components over here and select the web page as we are embedding the web page. And one more thing what you have to make sure is under the edit reports, if you see, click on the view. Here you have to make sure that the output format you select is HTML. Even if you have other formats, that is fine. Just make sure HTML is also one of the output formats. Then only we will be able to embed. Suppose if you don't have this HTML output format, then we cannot embed the BIP report. So this is the main thing you have to make sure before embedding any BIP report. Let me just go back to my page over here and select the web page. Click on this add. As soon as you click on this web page, it will add the area over here if you see. So it will be adding the web page area. I think it has added a couple of times. I think I have clicked uh, two times the web page. So let me delete uh, one of the web pages. Just select this and click on this X mark. So only one web page we need. If you have selected the web page, you will see one web page area which has been embedded over here. Next is we have to select this web page or click on this and click on this edit icon. Now here we have to expand the source that is this one and select the expression builder. Now here we need to provide the URL which we had copied that is this one. Now one thing we have to make sure is we are having the parameters. If you see the parameter that is the param and the name is the name of our parameter in our BIP report. Suppose in your case you are having a parameter with different name you will see the same thing in your URL over here. Now what we have to do is we have to replace this thing that is ABC bank with the supplier name within which we are embedding this BAP report. That is we are embedding within this ABC bank then we have to pass this ABC bank to that BAP report and fetch the details. Now how we can get is we need to select the choose a value from the binding params we have to select the supplier. 
So as soon as you get the binding, we can copy this from here, go to the URL and just replace wherever you are having this value. That is ABC Bank. Let me just remove ABC Bank from here and replace it with the binding. Just copy this from here and paste it under the source. Click on OK. Click on Apply and click on OK. As soon as you click on OK, you will see a VIP report being called automatically and it will show the details of the supplier. Now suppose I want to modify the height or the width of this embedding then we can select the structure it got automatically selected add content for me again i will go to this area and i will select this web page click on edit we have to select this web page and again go into this edit here we go to style from here we will select the height as 50 vh you can give any kind of height that is using the pixels or virtual height. Now here we will see a bigger or larger area to view the BIP report. Now it is showing the details for the ABC bank. Suppose I go back to the managed suppliers and I will select some other supplier over here like ABC consulting. I should be getting the details of ABC consulting because it will pass the ABC consulting name in the query parameter that is in the URL when we embed that is using the binding params and we will see the details of ABC consulting like the party number. So like this we can embed a BIP report within a fusion module. Here we have considered the example of getting the supplier details. In your case you could have some other kind of information to display within the embedded BIP report page. In our next class we will see how to achieve the same using the page integration.